worship at El Pablito United Methodist Church in Taos, New Mexico. I'm Pastor Sherry Lyon. And today we are continuing our Faith and Film Summer Series. And we are talking about the movie, The Way. Hear first these words of scripture from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 7 to 10. But we have this treasure in clay jars, so that it may be made clear that this extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be made visible in our bodies. The Word of God for the people of God. In many religious traditions, to speak of the way often means to refer to a spiritual path. Many early Christians called following Jesus the way. The Way also refers to the famous medieval pilgrimage route that begins in the French Pyrenees and ends hundreds of miles later in the town of Santiago de Compostela in northwestern Spain. The Camino, as it is called, has hosted millions of pilgrims over the centuries and has become for many a place of insight and healing for countless Christians and non-Christians alike. The 2010 movie, The Way, begins with the father and son having a somewhat strained conversation. Tom, the father, an optometrist played by Martin Sheen, is driving his son to the airport, telling him, the life I live might not seem to be much, but it's the life I choose. Daniel, his son, retorts, you don't choose a life, Dad, you live one. Daniel, played by his real-life son, Emilio Estevez, is off to Europe. He's fed up with graduate studies in cultural anthropology. He no longer wants to study culture, but to instead be immersed in it. What neither man knows, the father or the son, is that this will be their last conversation. Daniel is killed in a freak snowstorm as he begins his pilgrim's walk in the French Pyrenees. When Tom is called with the tragic news, his world changes forever. Going to retrieve Daniel's body, Tom feels compelled to try to better understand his son. What was it that his son wanted to experience? In an attempt to find out, Tom begins to walk the Camino with his son's backpack and gear, taking his son's ashes with him. Tom begins his trek alone, except of course with the ashes and constant memory of his son, whose figure he sees as he continues along the walk. But Tom is soon thrown together with three other pilgrims, a Canadian woman, an Irishman, and an affable Dutchman. As we enter the stories of these pilgrims, a story becomes broadened. Sarah, the woman, is abrasive and obviously wounded. She wants to keep everyone at arm's length. But confronting her pain helps Tom uncover his own pain. Jack, the Irishman, is a travel journalist with a writer's block. He drinks to numb his own personal demons. But his description of the way helps not only his fellow travelers, but also us as we watch the movie to better understand the significance of the trek. And Joost, the Dutchman, he's ostensibly on the pilgrimage to exercise and lose weight before his wedding. He hides his own insecurities behind his love of food and his cheerfulness. 
Jude's presence adds a sense of humor and lightness. As we each enter into our own pilgrimages, we find ourselves joining these pilgrims on their way. For all of us have our own sense of need. All of us, if we're to be honest, are on a spiritual search. Even those of us who don't label it, label it explicitly religious. There's kind of a universal appeal to the movie's quest and a universal invitation to embark on its path. We are all, as the Apostle Paul wrote, clay jars, earthen vessels, afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be made visible in our bodies. I think what Paul's saying is we've all been hurt and hurt others. We've all been perplexed and, and maybe even struck down, but we are not forsaken. We have a treasure in our clay bodies, our human bodies, and the treasure is God's own spirit dwelling within us, challenging us, comforting us, and reminding us that we are called to live so that the life of Jesus may be made visible in our lives. We make the road by walking. That's a saying from a Spanish poet, Antiano Machiado. We are all travelers on life's journey. Some of us, like Sarah, are walking away from something, from pain, sometimes from addiction, perhaps a failed relationship, or simply a life that is not living up to our expectations. Some of us, like Jack, the travel writer, feel stuck and we're walking to free ourselves. We want to find inspiration and insight. And some of us, like Tom, the father in the movie, are walking to find ourselves and to connect with others, even if that's not what we start out wanting to do. We walk seeking peace in our souls and in our relationships. We walk even when we can no longer take the physical steps due to changing health and our physical limitations. We journey on. The good news, we do not travel alone. God has given us this treasure, God's own spirit, to infuse our travels with God's grace and love. The pilgrimage along El Camino de Santiago ends at the cathedral of Santiago de Compostela. There, every day at noon, throngs of pilgrims who have completed their journey attend the pilgrim's mass. After the final blessing, a gigantic incense burner is hoisted aloft on ropes by men dressed in medieval garb, and it's flung from side to side in the cathedral, filling the sanctuary with a cloud of sweet fragrance as the worshipers cheer. The burning of the incense in the very large container had never been filmed before, but the director, Emilio Estevez, was granted the permission to use this ritual in the film. The movie doesn't end, though, in the cathedral, although it's clearly a spiritual high point. The four pilgrims trek on a few more miles to the Atlantic Ocean, where Tom scatters his son Daniel's remaining ashes. Tom has been scattering Daniel's ashes all along. But that too is not the end of the movie. As the film closes, we see Tom walking on alone in a new place, 
filled with vivid color and people seeking new adventures and experiences. Tom is choosing to live. May we travel the way, choosing to live fully, walking with God and with others, walking their own paths. And may others see the life of Jesus revealed in our walk, a walk filled with compassion, kindness, and a spirit of generosity wherever our walk may take us. Amen. Will you join with me in prayer? With beauty before me, may I walk. With beauty behind me, may I walk. With beauty below me, may I walk. With beauty above me, may I walk. With beauty all around me, may I walk. In old age, wandering on a trail of beauty, lively, may I walk. In old age, wandering on a trail of beauty, living again, may I walk. O oh Lord, we thank you for the prayers that are shared with us from our brothers and sisters who live the path of beauty, who are the Diné, the Navajo people. And now, God, gather us in as we pray the prayer that Jesus, who walked this earth, taught, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for all the ways you walk in the world. Thank you for helping make the world more beautiful for others through the ministries of our church. Thank you for donating online at elpobitoumc.org or dropping a check off at the church or mailing a check in. May God bless the gifts that are offered so that all may walk in beauty. If you're in Taos, Join us for outdoor, in-person worship in the garden at El Pablito on Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. If by chance it's raining, we will move indoors into the sanctuary at El Pablito. And now, let us sing Amen as we walk in beauty. Mm -hmm. 